Oh, the dreaded 60 degree wedge. It can be your best friend and it can be your worst enemy. I see a lot of people when they're chipping just simply around the greens to holes that are not that far away from them, they pull that 60 degree wedge out and they make a big swing like I just made. And yeah, sometimes you can pull that shot off and yeah, it's cool when Phil Mickelson does it on TV and yeah, you can be a hero when it, when it works, but I just see so many things go wrong when you're making that big of a swing. You notice over here, I have several different golf clubs laying on the ground and I can chip with any of those golf clubs. It's really a matter of what I feel the most comfortable with. But I'm gonna show you a setup and a style of chipping that's gonna make chipping a lot different for you and a lot safer. You're not gonna waste those shots around the green anymore. So come on and take a look. All right, so here I'm facing a shot that the pin is maybe 40 feet away from me here. So I have a little bit of green to work with. So I'm gonna choose a golf club this time that has a little bit less loft on it, not so much loft. And the keys for my chipping is that I like to get the ball kind of towards the back of my stance. So for right-handed players, that's towards that right foot. I like to get my feet pretty close together. I like to choke down on the golf club. And a couple of probably major keys, the biggest keys in chipping is to make sure that not only my club shaft, but also my body leans left. I want my body and my club shaft to lean left towards the target. And what that really does is that helps me avoid that dreaded thin shot. I don't want to hit the ball here. I want to lean that club forward so that the ball sees the face of the golf club. Get my setup here. Make a nice even stroke. Chip that ball onto the green. And I think I can handle making that putt. I'm going to use the same exact setup and everything, the same exact shot that I just used for that farther shot, but I'm gonna take more loft now. So this ball's gonna get up in the air a little bit more, but again, all the same. But just a little bit more loft to get that ball to that shorter pin where I don't have quite as much green to work with. Use those tips out there and avoid that thin shot and stop wasting strokes around the green. This has been another Tree Tops tip from Director of Golf, Kevin McKinley.